need to look down, but it's ready. It's ready. I just saw it. It's still so 20 seconds. No, it's ready now. I'm telling you, you must be real, real pregnant because it says yes. Oh my god. I saw it earlier. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Um, Saturday when we were in Big Bear, uh, I woke up because I was in a lot of pain and I told Jeff that I thought that we needed to go to the hospital. So we went to the hospital and we found out when we were there that, um, that I had a miscarriage. It's going to be a really exciting, fun day. We get to go hear the baby's heartbeat. We get to go uh, see how the baby's doing and developing and just all that fun stuff. So we're really, really pumped up. I want to be honest with you guys. I haven't done this in so long that I honestly feel like... So I was just about going to be 12 weeks pregnant. Um, it was very unexpected. Um, Natalia had been sick. I know you guys may have noticed, but Natalia had been sick for close to like three and a half, four weeks. Um, and we don't know really why. You know, we knew that the, the flu was going around and normal sickness was going around. Um, but we don't know yet, I guess, how long she had been sick and why it was for. Um, so yeah, when, when she woke us up and we drove to the hospital, um, I guess for me it just feels like seeing Natalia in that, in that state, um, laying there, not really like knowing what the results are and, and honestly it took us a long time, I think we were there for three and a half hours or something like that. Um, just kind of like in the, we had no clue what was going on and there was just, um, I don't know, I don't even know how to really say it other than there was just a lot of blood, a lot of blood loss. Um, she had an ultrasound and we had asked the ultrasound tech if we could find out like, you know, if the baby had a heartbeat. And she literally said that she couldn't even tell us, like we had to wait. So I think we waited another hour and a half in that, just kind of like in limbo not knowing what's wrong or what's going on. This has never happened to us before, so it's it's all very new to us. Um, you know, we had two, thankfully, two healthy babies and two healthy pregnancies. Um, and I think it just hit us in a shock that we weren't expected and we weren't prepared for. And I, and it's hard because Natalia, in, in the moments that she was sick, she was very worried and very concerned. And I remember like telling you guys in the videos, like, you know, Natalia's pregnant and so she can't take any medicine, you know, she's making sure her fever is down and, you know, she's very, like, to the buck. She takes her prenatals, she does everything that she needs to do and she's, he she's healthy, you know, and so... I think that obviously in these situations if you know other people have been through things like this it just there's no way to really prepare yourself emotionally for it and so we took a couple days off from filming just to kind of like have a few days just to be like as a family and um I actually have a doctor's appointment coming up to kind of hopefully talk to them and see if there's any kind of answers um, that we can get. But honestly, I think that it's one of those things that there's not really 
a straight answer that you can have in this situation as far as like knowing exactly why or if there's something that you could have done differently to prevent it or any of that but um, I think that just take time to heal so I think the hardest part for us is we had to tell um, live and pay and I remember like as we were driving back from the hospital and like the thought of having to tell um, the two people we love the most that you know they were so excited that um, you know their future brother or future sister was no longer um, in mommy's tummy was very very hard and confusing for a child and so we um, you know they're seven and four so they don't really understand the whole process I mean Peyton <laughs> When we told her, Pey when we told Nat uh, Peyton that Natalia was pregnant, I remember Peyton said, "Like, you know, is the baby gonna come tomorrow?" So she doesn't understand like the process yet. But um, telling them was probably the toughest. And, and I would say, like, your your mom and, and stuff. And but um, we wanted to let you guys know because you know we feel like you were so excited for us too. Um, and um, it's a weird feeling, honestly, to have to uh, tell people uh, that we lost something, that we lost a, a baby. Um, so if we are hit and miss on some of these videos, it's just because we need to spend time uh, with each other and with our family without having to film. Um, that's kind of why we've been missing in the last couple of days. and support that um, you have given us. I, I, I mean, I want to personally thank um, Hannah and Andrew Sly Fox and, and Cole and Sav because in that moment when we were there, they stepped up huge and um, without us even really having to ask, they, they literally stepped up and, and helped us with the kids and, and um, canceled a lot of their plans that they had for us. And that was very, very special um, for us. Um, for Natalia's mom, she was going to drop everything to come up and and, uh, and be with Natalia. And um, you know, for our families that have just helped us, uh, my parents that have helped watch the kids, and just so we can spend some time together. Everyone's been very, very supportive, and we're very thankful for that. And I don't want to say this is the end. We don't know what the process is going to be like for us to try and have another baby. We don't know what those emotions are going to bring. Um, so right now we're just in the middle of it and trying to figure that out. Um, it sucks seeing videos on our channel that talk about our pregnancy announcement. The gender reveal coming, the, you know, the, the room, the baby's room. That's, that really hurts and really sucks to see that. But I don't want to say that that is for nothing because we believe as parents and as believers in Christ that that our child is with our Creator and that he's, he or she is in a better place and, and that we'll get to see them again. And, and that's what we told our kids was, you know, that he's with Jesus and or she's with Jesus and they knew they were confused, they didn't really understand, and I kind of just wanted to 
obviously not give too much detail to that, but... Thank you guys for your understanding and for your prayers in this situation and um, 